The starting screen is the loudest thing on earth. Apparently. I guess I need to... Oh, wait. So what do you want me to press something? Okay. So last night we got here. We're supposed to follow this guy. Okay. Six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the- Voices are a bit quiet. Hang on. Um... I have to kind of fight these controls a little bit. Let's see what that does. Wait, did that save? Yeah, saved. All right. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. That's the Empress's got daughter. She got kidnapped. But we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us. We're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Dude, we swam through a sewer to get here. I bet we stank. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Uh, if I accidentally made Gift of Prosperity instead of Legendary Rune, how does long does it take Aina to get back to me? Their customer service for fixing item problems is actually really good, so it should just be like a couple days, sometimes hours. I'll be if crafting lucky. your weapons and gear, all custom work for you. I will create the tools of a master assassin. This cannot happen now, the tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Okay. Whale tank oil. I like how I have a throw button. He says, be careful, and it gives me a yeet Perfect. button. It's so tempting. Now plug it in. Just get... Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The Assassin's Mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Center lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. So I'm a thief Tell now. Tell me what I can make for you. Uh, sleep bolts. I definitely want more of those. What is a spring razor? Can be placed on nearly any surface. Rewire tool, rewire circuitry to turn security systems your advantage. Grenade. What about upgrades? What do we got? Crossbow accuracy, range, reload. Combat sleep dart. Uh, sleep dart sedative effects is immediate even in combat. Oh, is it not already a usable in combat? I didn't realize that. Mask optics, magnify your view, bullet capacity, bolt capacity. Bone charm? I don't know what that is yet. All right, for now I've got very few. Wait, are these 30 coins each? I guess they are, bleh. 
All right, let's do combat sleep guard. So now I can get out of a fight uh, non-lethal. You I think. must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. Okay. Oh, this is going to do a fade to black. All right. So now we've got the spooky mask. Uh, anything going on in here? Get myself washed up. A wash basin. It's like a doorway, but it's sealed off. Okay. Yo. Wait, what? S objective. Something's not right. You're telling me. I'm going back to bed. I just, no, man, I don't, I, I did not, I woke up in Australia. I didn't sign up for this. Lay back down. Oh my God. Did not sign up for upside down land. I, now I gotta watch out for probably emus or something. Hello, Corvo. Hello, Satan. Your life has taken a turn. Sorry, I thought you were somebody not. else. The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter, Emily, is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. Hi, Mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that men call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. My gift to you. Come find me. Oh, hi, Mark. Uh, use thumb mouse button to execute a fast and stealthy forward dash through the world. You could also use it to move upward, but the distance is reduced. Any ledges will allow you to blink forward and climb up. Hold thumb mouse button to target your destination with precision. A blue sphere indicates that you should reach your destination, and a blue arrow indicates that you will climb up when you reach your destination. Fallen letter. You cannot save her, 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 you cannot... Oh, I, for, I lost my place. I got to start over. You cannot save her. 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 All one breath. Okay. What is this? Piero's spiritual remedy. Press T to drink a mana potion. Does it recharge on its own? Yes, it does. Awesome. Uh, that I love games that make a little bit of sense. Missed one? Oh, we should go back and read it again. Emily's letter. I am very sad, Corvo. They say that you're dead, like Mother. But I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it, so please come for me if you can. Me. Oh, hey, what up? What the heck? These are some weird scrappy boys. Is it, did the char make these? What are these things? Did I not grab that? I thought that was a grabby thing.
days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. Wait, wait, like, is that thing in my pocket, or did you just put- Okay, no, there it is. I was like, did he just replace my heart with a heart? The heart. Equipping the heart in your left hand helps you locate bone charms or runes even through walls. The heart beats and lights up when you are facing a bone charm or rune, and it beats faster as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets if you press thumb mouse button while targeting a person or location. What? This place, this place is, is the, the end, end of all things, things. and the, the beginning. beginning. Okay, so it shows a marker. I was afraid this was going to be like, you know, red light, green light, or sorry, no, like colder and warmer. All of time's meaning is here. Neither seconds, nor centuries. Okay, now what? Do I eat it? Once you've collected some runes, open the journal and go to the power section to exchange them for powers. Runes can be collected and used to acquire supernatural powers. Okay. Mm, possession allows control of animal targets for a short time. Here's our ooh, mind control. Bend time, slows time. Uh, summons, summoner! Summon a swarm of rats that'll attack others then disperse after a duration. Oh my gosh. Mind control and summoning. Powerful wind that could push back or knock down enemies. Vitality, health is increased. Build up adrenaline. Uh, wait, wait, health regen is improved? I didn't know we had health regen at all. Build up adrenaline, trigger brutal attack. Height jump is increased, if all damage reduced. Uh, unaware enemies that don't see you turn to ash as they die. Unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die. Oh my gosh. Dark vision. See in the dark and see living things through walls, including their fields of vision. Representation of the sounds that you make are also visible. All right, well, let's start with dark vision. Press thumb mouse button to see in the dark and to reveal living beings through solid walls. You can also see their fields of view as well as a visual representation of the sounds you make. Level two shows you imported items through walls like security devices, weapons, ammo, coins, keys, or traps. How you use what I have given you falls upon you as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. All right, I wasn't expecting the supernatural stuff in this game. I thought it was all just uh, sneaking around. Okay. Crimson Spud, Moonlight Potato. What's up, Mason? Was that a dream? No, I have a sick tattoo. It was real. We're in 114 meters that way. Do other people freak out when you walk around holding a heart in your hand? Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore, or that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble he built from an old rowboat. 
Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? Let me just look through the keyhole while these people are looking right at me. Good day, Master Corvo. Hi! Are you a nobleman, Corvo? No one seems to know much about you. By your bearing, I'd say so. Lord Pendleton's great-grandfather took a Sokonan chambermaid to wife. On second thought, the story doesn't bear repeating. Even the finest blood can go bad here and there. Lord Pendleton Memoirs, Chapter 27. In my thirteenth year, the despised stepmother at last departed, and Pendleton Hall was again quiet. Although father had by then sunk into deep depression, it was at this sensitive time that Waverly Boyle first entered my life. She who will be the source of many tender recollections to come. Alright, so I was wondering if this guy was going to freak out when I just walked into his room. You know, some games they don't seem to mind, others they do. This one, I guess, doesn't seem to mind. Whale oil. Excerpt from the Travel Journal of a Young Whaler. Uh, Gaffer's Tale, Volume 1. My sister Nina and I left Tyria together. Oh, Tyria. Tivia together, saying goodbye to her aunt, the woman who had raised us since childhood. Leaving behind our home society of Yarrow in the cold but beautiful white landscapes we'd always known, we boarded a ship for Dunwall. Our parents had left us with a sizable inheritance, and we spent half of this getting to the capital city and establishing a small import shop dedicated to Tivian furs. Once I'd helped Nina establish the business, I was free to pursue my dream. Signing on with a whaling ship was the most exciting thing I'd ever done, and I saw it as a means to an end. Someday I would captain my own crew and eventually own a fleet of small, similar vessels. With tears in her eyes, Nina kissed me farewell, and I did not see her again for many months. As an apprentice to the gaffer, I got to see the tracking and killing of the great beasts up close. Nothing had ever fired my spirit so as the wind and pounding waves racing after a wounded whale being pulled up by the sky of cables embedded in its thick flesh. I changed more in those first seven months than I had in my previous seven years. Whaling was beginning to put its mark on me so that Nina barely recognized me when I returned, tanned and sinewy with muscle, weather creases already wrangling the corners of my eyes, but she could see I was filled with joy having found my purpose. His purpose at killing big fish. Uh, excerpt from Book on Naval History. While each of the Isles has some form of naval fleet, none is more envied than that of Gristol. With its long, proud history of great ships and the admirals who command them, boys come of age in the cities of Gristol hoping to someday captain such a ship, and family dynasties are made by those captains who track down infamous pirates or crush seditious uprisings as during the Morley insurrection. In times of war and peace, Gristol continues to innovate at sea. The ship designs of Anton Sokolov himself now represent the highest standard in the whaling trade, allowing crews to haul their kill up over the deck and begin the butchery and processing even as the ship returns to Dunwall. The crews can be seen working on their latest whale as the ship moves slowly up the Renhaven River, coming to dock with one of the powerful warehouse companies such as the Greaves Whaling House. Suspended in the rigging overhead and backlit by the setting sun, the silhouette of one of these creatures makes a moving sight as it cruises to its final resting place in the industrial heart of the capital city. Uh, I'm going to play this and turn my fan off. Corvo seems to have arrived in good shape. Much better than I expected, given what I've seen of Coldridge Prison. He seems willing to work with us, and he should... Oh, hold on. I need to set up a screen capture one sec. Lack for motivation. Is that working? The man okay, there we go. Everything. We'll judge how he performs in the field. And if I can, I'll find a way to test him personally. Okay, uh, Havelock entry. It has been days since our men were dispatched to snatch weapons for Corvo in the sewer. Oh, hey, thanks. They have not returned, so I can only hope that they succeeded in getting the packages delivered. Piero spent considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass produce them, the Dunwall Navy would secure its place as the dominant force on the globe. But back to Corvo. Can he actually break out of Coldridge? And if so, and make his way here? I personally give him the odds of one in five. Harpooner songs. <laughs> what will we do with the drunken whaler? What will we do with the drunken whaler? What will we do with the drunken whaler early in the morning? I, every single verse is like that. I'm not reading all those. 
Probably get DMCA'd by some angry semen. Don't. 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 Behave. Behave. I know you're thinking it. I know you're thinking it right now. I know you sick degenerates. You're thinking it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Gaffer's Tale, Volume 2. Excerpt from the Travel Journal of a Whale of a... God dang it. It is four final years. After more than a quarter of a century, I'm done with whaling. Too broken to continue. I've seen all the corners of the Isles have made more coin than most men see in a lifetime, but it's all gone. I've lived through an emperor and watched his daughter take the throne. Fair young emperor she was, but slain so young. Everything beautiful comes to die. I've eaten in every port of the world, known world and sailed in the loneliest waters you could imagine. I've seen the cliffs around Pandicia. Even the best of it doesn't give me an ounce of joy. The years come back across my dreams as a line of butchered bodies, long, sleek, and singing among the waves under the moonlight, only to be speared by ugly, weather-scarred men who knife each other for a good pair of boots. Each year, I had less time to come home. My tongue forgot the language of small chatter, and those who lived in the cities thought me odd. My sister Nina knew, hardly knew what to say to me during our visits. When she lost her business to the Lord Regent's crooked barrister, I was a hundred miles east of Morley, gaff hand frozen from the sleet as we tracked the first bull whale we'd seen in months. I helped her as much as I could, but Nina died in the early days of the plague. None of it mattered. If I'm jaded and bitter, it's because the industry has taken away my dreams. The world has beaten me. Oh my gosh. Close the toilet. Um... I came to say hi. Hi, Lobulacida. Welcome. I lost all hope for you after you had finishing inside your stream title the other day, honestly. Oh my god. I didn't even pick up on that till just now. Excerpt from a longer work. Finding my way in the feeble light of the dying fire, I saw her working. A large needle moved in her hand following precise esoteric patterns, knots and loops of seamstress craft from ancient days. Beneath her needle, his body clenched and shuddered, shaking the wooden table. A morbid fascination pushed me closer until she turned her blank face toward me, resting the needle in his flesh. With a refined tone, she addressed me, So you are the lover, I presume. You two have been unfaithful, and it is now your turn to be mended. Oh my god. Uh, Prince of Tivia, excerpt from a play. Lord Nathan Bale, shaking with outrage. How dare you, sir, clothed so in my very home? I should hand you over to the watch to prave Tivian. Prince Kalisar, moving closer. That's a harsh welcome for royalty, my lord. Your daughter treated me with much more hospitality. <laughs> I picked the perfect voice for this guy. Alas, she's gone out for the evening, leaving me all alone. Lord Nathan Bale, stammering, studying the younger man before him. What are you doing? Leave this house! Go back to your frozen wasteland, pure rascal! Prince Kalisar, smiling, coyly, reaching out. No need for anger between us, Lord Bale. Is it so wrong for me to be here? As I've proven, I've developed an affinity for you and your family. <laughs> Lord Nathan Bale gasping. Oh my, Kalisar! Your skin is so warm! It burns! Oh my god. Ah. Uh, and my wife's gonna hear that upstairs and be like, what the fuck? Oh, man. Uh, what's up? I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. I'm sorry. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They found his ship drifting him. How did that work out? Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's Try the heart by on finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, We'll hide. Act in shadow. Take them apart. Piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal. Because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Okay. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. 
He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Admiral Havelock has seen more corpses than all the rest put together. Somewhere in the basements below, Hound kills Hound, and money changes hands. Dog fights? So this game doesn't seem to mind when you just like steal from people in broad daylight, I guess. They pronounce Campbell like Campbell. I mean, there's this one game I played where they pronounced Jennifer as Jennifer and Gerald as Gerald. That was a really weird one. Probably, you probably never heard of it. It's, uh, you know, it, it doesn't travel in big circles. Is that a heart in your hand? Yeah. It lets you see those things on your radar. Wait, was I already? Oh yeah, I already came in here. Okay. Why a heart? It was given to me by this spooky guy that gave me magical powers. It also lets me do this. I can teleport around. Let's go check out the basement. She hides her hands. They are raw and scarred from the washing. Processed whale oil. Do not attempt to come or care for a friend or family member. No signs of the blood on their face and chest hair. Only way to need a key for that. Alright. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Okay. Okay. What's up? Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. I wouldn't mind doing that if I could figure out how. The other servants don't like her. She is Callista Kernow. She, she has learned, learned to defend, defend herself in this treacherous city. All right. So how can I get to that room here, or do I have to go outside? Okay. Looks like I have to go out and around. This is a really interesting landscape. Like the architecture, all of it's pretty pretty neat. Can I swim or do I have to take the boat? I guess I can swim. Wait, am I taking damage? Is this like toxic water? I saw a red hue for a second. Now it's seeing. Wait, yeah, there we go. Is something nibbling me? When do y'all get nibbling? Such laughter, and they're, they're singing, singing the old songs, songs linking arms. But that the powers you obtain from runes can be used creatively to defeat enemies or move through the environment. Blink from roof to roof, possess rats and fish, or slow time for rushing a group of enemies. Happy time. All right, is there any more runes?